Hello everybody, it's Aaron here, and today we're going to look at the mods done to this GIO. This is a Rebel T3 2010, and uh, let's start at the front here. Obviously I put in a winch, I cut off the two um, fins on the front grill. Um, the winch is wired up to the handlebars here, so pretty good. It'll tow this thing out of pretty much anything. Um, in the front, I've realigned the front tires with this bar right back here. I rebuilt the underside of this steering column right here and re-lubed it and everything like that because it wasn't working very well. Uh, moving to the shock, put a hole and a pin in the shock so the shocks won't untie due to vibration as it goes down the trail. Um, the shifter, I pulled the shifter out and moved it down a couple of prongs so that it's easier to shift. I put um, foot guards on either side because without these your foot would fall right off the, um, the peg. Um, right up here I have the starter switch. I pulled out the solenoid because the solenoid uh, kept dying. I bought a couple of them. So starter switch, you switch it on and switch it off when you're done with it. Um, that way it will work no matter what because it's wired directly to the battery. So moving up here, these handlebars are from a um, Prairie, I believe a Kawasaki 650 Prairie. Okay, so these are pretty solid handlebars. Um, wired up everything real nice. Accelerator thumb tab here could only go this far from the factory, so it's modded to go even further to open up your carburetor even more. Um, the brakes have been bled and redone with brake fluid. I revamped the uh, spark plug seat and I also put a new spark plug in. Uh, took the factory one out. I've obviously done several oil changes on this unit and uh, putting in 10W40 with little additives as well to make it better. Um, there's a new, there's a welded foot peg on this side that I put in. I uh, tightened up the back brake there so it grips nice and easy. Okay, so under the seat, this is real fun under here. Um, this was a bar that went straight across, so I welded a tougher bracket. Um, going off jumps and everything, that bar would break. Actually, we had it break several times, so this bracket has been pretty solid. Haven't had a problem with it. Um, lines up real nice with the battery mount as well. Um, this is the air intake. This is the air filter. Um, the air intake goes to right here into the carburetor. This is a new uh, Makuni carburetor for a 250cc engine. This is a 200cc engine. So this carburetor has been set up to run for performance. I pulled the pin up on the needle for the carb. So that set up. Uh, your choke is set up correctly um, to cold start just about every time. I put a oil filter, sorry, a fuel filter in this setup. Okay, a nice big uh, aftermarket fuel filter and that's been changed several times along with the maintenance of the vehicle. I'm moving to the back here. So these are original tires, they haven't been used a lot, obviously tons of tread on them. and. Uh, Back in here, I've um, welded reinforcement onto here. I re-welded the back rack. Um, this light was broken in transit, so it's tuck taped on, but it still works great. Added a trailer hitch ball on the back of this. Fixed up the back end here, added a lube, a lube port right back here. Fill this full of oil and, and grease. Um, I welded on these screws so that your sprocket doesn't come loose because that's what they're known to do. Uh, the brakes back here have been bled as well. Put uh, 250 cc exhaust on this thing so it sounds real mean. Nice slip cover right here. Obviously this is the original exhaust. It can be put back on if need be. So I think that's about it for the mods on this. I did put a pin through the shock as well. On the back here, uh, we have this angle iron welded chain guard, and it's been hit by some pretty big rocks and it survived, so pretty decent setup 
Um, gives you about three inches of ground clearance, three to four inches. You don't get a lot off these tires to begin with, but uh, that chain guard, the original chain guard is a piece of plastic. So that gives you an idea of what you're getting there. So we have the original carburetor, a uh, set of keys, an extra spark plug, an extra ignition, and the original muffler and exhaust pipe. So this quad is a standard. So you have obviously your clutch here, which has been tuned for performance. Okay. Uh, you have reverse is at the bottom, reverse, neutral, and then all the way up to fourth gear. So this quad goes about um, 65 to 70 kilometers per hour for a 200 cc engine. Quad will fit a full size person on it fairly comfortably. I am 6'2 and I fit on it fairly well. Um, you do have a rack here for extra stuff which is real nice. Um, the, you kids can also drive on this. Um, you can put a screw in the back of here so that the throttle is limited so that for kids it only goes so fast. So you're all probably wondering how it performs. Well I just pulled it out of the garage so let's do a cold start. A cold start right out of the garage. Thanks for watching guys if you want to see this quad in action just head on over to my channel uh, click the annotations to see other videos about this guy right here and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching